Hey, my guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today um, we're gonna talk about concrete dumpsters. Right now, this is the number one question I'm getting DM'd about, phone calls about, comments about. So I figured let's talk about it. So today, everything you need to know about concrete dumpsters. The first, Casey, roll the intro, and then uh, we're gonna talk concrete. All right, he promises he won't get you. <laughs> so a couple things for you. That's our business card. Oh, my it's dad got, will laugh really hard at this. Got our phone number on if you got any questions. It's also the same number on the side of the dumpster. Sick. And then this week we're doing Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> we love the Girl <laughs> Scout <laughs> program. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's got a super easy door for you on the back. Don't worry about the chain. It's just ratchets. This is good. It's all welded on. You can't, you can't hurt it. This is super easy to load. Um, most guys that are using a wheelbarrow make some type of little ramp. Yeah, I'll put some boards up there. And then they fill it to the front. So here's the here's the thing on this. You can fill it full, okay. but you can't heap it. Okay. That truck is based on weight, and this was custom made for that truck. So if you fill it completely full, think about like water level, pool table flat, run a board across it, I can pick it. If you heap it at all, I won't be able to pick it. And the only thing worse than loading this thing once, loading it twice, because I got to dump something out to pick it up. Only dirt, only sod, only concrete, rock, brick, nothing else. You can't top it off with a mattress or a refrigerator or anything like that. We'll be back tomorrow about the same time, get it picked up. All I ask is it just save me the driveway. Obviously they're doing some work right there so no one's gonna park right there, but yeah. kind of same thing here. I need a little bit of space to get in. Yeah. Any questions? No. Yeah. Fantastic. Cool. Hey, just curious, how'd you hear about us? Uh, online. I just like did a business for dirt dumpster. For dirt dumpster? Most, most dumpsters don't like to do dirt, you know? No dirt, no concrete, no sod, no brick, no rock, yeah. yeah We're one of the only ones in the state that allow people to do it. Yeah. All right, so this morning, guys, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about concrete dumpsters. As always, we run a lot of concrete dumpsters. In fact, I only have a couple in the yard, and the, the few that I do have in the yard today are all going out. I'm sold out on dirt dumpsters. But I want to talk to you about... Well, you guys have been watching my Instagram, and I've been pretty aggressive on dirt dumpsters for a while. And I think the reason is, is, you know, you guys that have been following me through this whole journey, dirt dumpsters is how I started the business. Dirt dumpsters, co uh, concrete dumpsters, sod dumpster, it's the same dumpster. So let me clarify this. It, it, it's one style dumpster. We, we use different names when we advertise them because we advertise as dirt dumpsters, we advertise as concrete dumpsters, we advertise as sod dumpsters but it's the same dumpster. So on these dumpsters, we allow concrete, dirt, sod, brick, rock. Uh, those are the, the primary products that we use these dumpsters for. And basically guys, it's all the stuff that nobody else allows in any of their dumpsters. I wanna to talk to you about offering a service that nobody else is offering, but it's a two part. The second part is actually having the right tool. If I give someone the right tool, it shows my professionalism and my commitment to the project. If I give them the wrong tool, it really just says I'm just kind of after a money grab, but I'm not really fully committed. It's like giving a home builder a screwdriver and telling them to build the whole house. Can he do it? Yeah. Is it going to be the best product? No. It's the same thing if you hire someone, a mechanic, to come and work on your car or you take it to work on your car and all he has is a crescent wrench and he's trying to do every job with a crescent wrench. You, you, you guys are missing the incredible power 
of giving these guys the right tool. So one of the keys for me advertising this is I actually advertise that we'll take concrete, we'll take dirt, we'll take sod. When they order from my website, and I recommend this to you guys, if you guys are not doing this, this is a very key element. So it's advertising the right keywords to get the right people. It's having the right equipment to do the job. And the third one is, everybody has to go to my website to book this. I have a picture of me standing next to this dumpster with the price. Having it on the website does so many things with a picture of it because the expectation is always met when we deliver. Most contractor guys, if you show up with a concrete dumpster and they haven't seen the size, the first thing they're gonna say is, wow, that's small. They're expecting a 20 or 25 yard dumpster that they can fill full of concrete, dirt, and sod. So it eliminates that conversation. And let's face it, most contractors, regardless of how good they say they are, are some of the worst at figuring cubic yardage and how much stuff that they need. Homeowners, more times than not, are more realistic about the size of dumpster that they need for the amount of product that they're trying to get rid of. Of my total dumpsters that I own, more than 30% of my fleet is concrete dumpsters. I like them because I can charge a higher rate. Most go out for 24 hours, and of that, most of them are two or three hour rentals. So you're not tying up your, your equipment. You can get a quicker spin and a, and a quicker flip on your equipment. Here is the real secret sauce, guys. There's no disposal fee. Now, depending on your market, there might be, <clears throat> but in my market, I can get rid of concrete for free, I can get rid of dirt for free, and I can get rid of sod at an extremely minimal price. It really is a market that I'm a big, big, big fan of. It's not uncommon for me to run four or five dumpsters for a single customer back to back. You know, I can run $2,500 worth of dumpsters in a matter of four or five hours. And it's not uncommon to do that for two customers in the same day. That means one dumpster or two dumpsters turned you, you know, three, four, five grand in one day with no disposal fees. So we got a busy day on concrete dumpsters, but I do need to go take a 17 yard to somebody in one of the neighborhoods in Salt Lake that has really, really tight alleys. He's tried to get two other dumpster companies to deliver there and they haven't been able to do it. So we're gonna take him a dumpster in one of these super tight areas and then we're gonna get, we're gonna come back to the concrete dumpsters. All right, there's our business card. Got our phone number on it. You got any questions, but you know how to get a hold of me. We've yep. texted a couple times. We're doing Girl Scout cookies this week. Damn. See this line right here? Yeah. That's your full load line. Nothing can be over. It's gotta be water level, pool table flat. If I run a board across this, it's, everything has to be below it. I would try and put that mattress in very first. It does a couple of things. It'll lay perfectly flat in here so it's not standing up. And two, the weight of everything else will smash it down. And then I'll be back tomorrow about this same time. We'll get it out of here. So I had previously emailed James one of our rat cards, so he had already had it. He's familiar with it. But we still drop these off to these guys. Guys, this works really good too because by giving it to the homeowner, especially like in this neighborhood, this is gonna get filled by his neighbors if this thing sits here any amount of time. And his neighbors are gonna come over and without question, he's gonna ask him, hey, can I put this in? Him having a card doesn't really make him the bad guy with his neighbor, because he just says, look, this is what same day is gonna charge me if you put it in. So the, the people renting the dumpsters really like this because they basically can just show it to them and they, their neighbors don't think they're just making stuff up to it. But, and it's another thing, guys, 
that stays on their refrigerator, stays in their drunk drawer. It's another reminder of who they can call when they need a dumpster. They don't throw this away. This gets thrown somewhere in the kitchen, in the office, in the garage, and they come back to it. So if you guys aren't doing this, go to my website, go to the coaching page or the apparel page, go all the way down to the very bottom, and you can download your own digital copy where you can change your name, change your Venmo, change your phone number, your email. You can customize it. The template's there, but just go to our website. You can download it. Really slick, really easy. A great benefit, a game changer for sure. Right. Another 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah, so the way it works is if you need a second day on it, let me know tonight before we make tomorrow's pickup schedule. Okay. And then all you have to do is pay the difference that you would have paid if you paid it for two days. Right. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. Thanks for the business. The first dumpster we dropped off this morning to our customer, Allison. And this is what happens, guys, with dirt, concrete, and sod dumpsters. She's already called and said, man, I severely underestimated how much material I have. I need a second one and I need it right now. So we're m moving things around a little bit to get her a second one that we didn't have. Um, but that's kind of what we do. We, we make things happen. So we're gonna grab a second one we're going to take it to her. We're going to swap it out for a load one. We're going to go get that one empty and re-deliver that to another customer. Just um, so anyway, that's how we make it work. But this is one reason that I really like this stuff. These guys always underestimate how much stuff they have and you can get a lot of dumpsters. I think I got four or five dumpsters out today that I'm expecting phone calls that they need an additional one. So we'll make it work. So you're gonna get this one I'm dropping off, okay. and then at least one more for sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. She wants to try and do four. I'll have you another one probably just about the time you have it full. All right, guys, so. We just completed a swap out on that. Um, this is pretty light material. It's sod, it's light dirt. So I am gonna cover this up. Uh, sometimes with concrete and different things, I don't cover it up. If it's really heavy sod and it's not gonna blow. This is definitely gonna blow on the freeway. So I'm gonna show you how we tarp these because the tarp on the truck doesn't cover these up. Um, in fact, just for part of this video, I'm gonna tarp it with the truck tarp and show you why it doesn't work, and then I'm gonna show you how we tarp them. Just so you guys can see why the truck tarp doesn't work on these concrete dumpsters. So, one thing to keep in mind when you guys are doing concrete dumpsters, this tarp, it will cover it, but it's not the best way to do it. I'm gonna show you how we tarp these because... Okay, so here's Here's the issue that you guys are gonna have with these. The wind creates so much blow on this that it just acts like a parachute. Trust me, I've done it. We've even tried to run a strap down right here and keep it down, but there's just too much wind on it. So we don't use this truck tarp for these. Instead, what we'd use is a cargo net. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. I found when I put the cargo net on, I like to pick it up just a little bit. This is just what works best for me. I like to lift the front up a little bit. It's easier for me to put the net on. So what I use, guys, is I actually bought a cargo net from Gladiator Cargo Nets. I'll show you on this.
So what I have, I have these quick connects and I've got 12 of these that we put on it. And this is what I found works best for me for this style dumpster to keep it in place. These just click through the eyelets that these have. These go down on cinch it down. Super easy. Once I get it back up on the truck, I just walk around and touch every strap. Make sure they're nice and tight. All right, we're good to go. Let's go get this in empty. Hardest worker in the organization. So normally guys, um, I'll take sod to a landscaper um, that'll take it from me for no charge, but he's not open on the weekends. And because I'm out of dirt and concrete and sod dumpsters, it's one of those things where I gotta pay to get rid of it and take it to my local landfill. All right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. You learned a couple of things. Um, maybe you've been thinking about getting into concrete dirt dumpster specifically. And hopefully this video gives you a little bit more insight on how I do it, what works well for me. Um, you know, I'm only oh, about six hours into my day, and I think I've already done five or six dumpsters you know, um, and I, I still got a full day going. So, um, but thanks guys. We appreciate the support. Thanks as always for taking the time to support our videos, to watch what we're doing. We're very, very appreciative. Hey, don't forget to like, share this episode if somebody uh, you think might enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll keep cranking out some good content. Let me know, guys, your thoughts in the comments, as always, uh, what you think about the video, but even more importantly, what kind of stuff you like to see us create. You know, we're creating stuff that we think you guys want to see and want to watch, but if there's something specific, drop it in our comments. We read these comments all the time, and that's where a lot of our ideas come from. So anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. Drive safe. Stay loaded. Keep those trucks loaded. Keep those dumpsters loaded. And let's keep those bank accounts loaded. We'll catch you guys next time.